Housen, Netherlands, which is, uh, I don't know, maybe 15 or so kilometers outside of Amsterdam. Uh, I've had about seven days here to run around and find all the chocolate milk I can. There's been quite a bit, uh, I think 32 different kinds, but it's a different sort of a thing. Uh, there's, um, chocolate milk is definitely the leading brand out here, which is a product of Belgium, but it's so common and there's lots of different versions of it. And it's, such that uh, Chocomel's got like three different tranches of caloric level, the regular stuff, like the whole milk stuff, the uh, like a low fat version, and then like a light version, and about four other, four or five other um, producers do the same thing where they have three different versions of it. look even similar like this uh, looks similar to a chocomel box same shape and even the same sort of a dark kind of school bus yellow color um, so there's just lots of volume of it what I have left is just the good stuff uh, or the stuff that I'm gonna just note real quickly about let's start with, with chocomel dark not something I've seen I've seen chocomel in a lot of different um, countries but this is the first time I've seen chocolate melt dark. I do like a darker chocolate. This is almost gone. It is really dark. It's about a nine or so in darkness. I don't know if you can tell, you know, without comparing to something else. It smells nice and chocolatey. It's dark without being bitter. It's adequately sweet where it tastes very desserty. It does have a chalky feel, but when I when it delivers this, the strength of chocolate that it has, I think that's uh, more than permissible. What's next? Oh, this stuff comes from Jumbo Supermarket, which is a chain out here, but this is, I guess, their bio, their organic uh, chocolate milk this stuff is awesome. It's got that sort of a reddish, again, you might not be able to tell compared without comparing it to something else, but it's got a reddish color to it, which sometimes you see in these, um, like Chocolate Bio has that same sort of look to it. Mm, it's super chocolatey and very flavorful. Love this stuff. Drank almost the whole thing despite having so much more chocolate milk to get through. That stuff's super good. This happy chocolate is, uh, I've only seen it in one spot at a bio supermarket in Den Haag, The Hague. Uh, I was down, down visiting there and uh, came across this stuff and it tastes very similar to the jumbo bio stuff. I think just has a little bit more salt to it, and it also looks similar. It has that same sort of red color. It's really good. Yeah, it's a really deep flavor there. Mm. Really good. Anyway, here's a, uh, another unique one. Tony's Choco Lonely, which this is a Dutch product. Actually, uh, all of these are except for the chocolate. But they also have chocolate. Tony's Chocolate Only has, uh, has all kinds of different chocolate. Uh, this to me tastes a little bit more like a British chocolate stuff. This stuff, uh, this chocolate milk tastes really unique. It's got a very uh, honey type sweetness to it. And it doesn't have honey in it. But it is pretty sweet and that's the first sort of flavor you get. And I know I'm, I'm cross pollinating here with, uh, in the same glass. I would never do that for uh, uh, tasting purposes. Yeah, it's a little bit thicker, but it's got a nice, uh, strong cocoa flavor and that honey is sort of sweetness, which is unique and welcome. But lastly, of all of the store brand or whatever chocolate milks that I had, this one to me stood out as the best. Milsani, which is just, you get it at Aldi. Uh, there's nothing fancy about it. And it's probably the cheapest one here as well. <laughs> But it was unique in that it had uh, really kind of a cool lightness to it. 
where it feels, it doesn't feel dense, which sometimes dense is good, but it, it, it's flavorful despite feeling, it has kind of an airy feel to it. Yeah, I mean, especially compared with others, it's, it's, uh, it's really quite good. And that's, uh, that was, I guess, my favorite from all of the yellow boxes that you'll see um, that I reviewed, so. Anyway, that's, uh, that's it from the, the Dutch chocolate milk scene. I feel like I survived adequately. Seven days was, was a good bit of time to spend here. Unfortunately, we're headed to Belgium next only for two days. And so much of this stuff was a product of Belgium. And really, the Netherlands didn't produce a lot of its own chocolate milk. Uh, maybe only about six or so of the 32, but uh, I will be a little bit overwhelmed when we get to Belgium just for a couple days, but that's what I signed up for. Oh,